And then a month later, we have to go through that all over again? Yes. What? No bullshit. Yes. Don't give me yes on that. I need to talk to a supervisor or someone who can shut this fucking thing down. Because this has taken enough of my time. I've gone into the store twice. The last hallelujah that someone came up with in your job told me to go into the store and have them call customer service to verify that I was me and I was the one who bought the phone at that fucking store and then you could shut it down. That was two months ago. Then last month I went in again, they're like, there's nothing we can do, man. Yes, thank you. I understand your frustration. Thank you. Okay. No. Please tell me your phone or account number. Hang on for just a moment. I'm sorry, but if you said something, I couldn't hear it. Si desea hablar conmigo en español, dígamelo ahora. I need to ask you to please speak up just a little bit. Please tell me the AT&T account number you're calling about today, or a phone number associated with your account. Oh, How can I help you today? Oh, I don't even remember which one it is. She's got 700 numbers. That's not it either. Please hold for just a second. It's got like 10 numbers in my fucking thing. I don't remember which one it is. Oh, for fuck's sake. Where even is that paperwork? In order to route your call properly, I need this information. Do you? How can I help you today? <laughs> you can stop billing me for a phone that was stolen three months ago. For the love of God. I don't even remember what... I don't even know how to look it up. She's had 700 numbers. Uh, where is looking recent calls? Tell me what you're calling about. A Ricky, home Ricky or a business iPhone, account? There it is. Ricky iPhone. There it is. V iPhone. No. <laughs> Thank you. Now that I finally found the number. Jesus Christ. Write it down. We appreciate your call to AT&T. Your approximate wait time is less than one minute. Control when you manage your account with the My AT&T app. It's quick and easy to pay your bill. Hi, thank you so much for calling AT&T. My name is Mary. Double pleasure speaking with. Seth. Hi, how can I help you? Well, this uh, phone that I just got billed for um, was stolen in May. And I've been trying to shut the damn thing off ever since. And apparently you can't shut it off because... It was so new, I hadn't set up a pin. So you told me to go, uh, one of your colleagues told me to go into the store and I went in and they spent 10 minutes on with customer service and said they took care of it. But then it billed again the next month and they told me this will be the last month because it's gonna drop off because it's never gotten paid. But now I'm getting billed for it again. So I just wanted to make it go away. Check what we can do about it. Okay. So, what is your phone number to check the uh, account? 816. It's 816 334 9068. 
Thank you so much, just for a moment. Okay, well, I'm checking. Just for a moment, I'm still checking. Okay. This is for your wireless account, right? It's for a wireless account I don't want and haven't used since May. The phone was stolen in May, and I've never made a payment other than the initial buying the phone a week before it was stolen. <laughs> okay, sorry about that, but let me go check here. Let's see if we can open the account. Um, it's actually a prepaid account. Yeah, I know. I know. It's a prepaid account that I've that should have been canceled three months ago. So why did I just get charged for the third month today? <laughs> it's almost October. Mm -mm. Um, to be honest, uh, to be honest, I'm not sure if I'm able to answer all your questions because this is actually out of our scope. This cannot be opened by our assistant. So I have to connect it to someone that can open your account. Okay, thank you. Okay, so let me connect you over to them. Please stay in the line. Thanks. Just for a moment, okay? Okay. Just checking their number. Thank you so much for reading on the line. I'll connect you to the department. Goodbye for now. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. You want to do more? Now I gotta go through that again. Oh, God. <laughs> Yes, um, I bought a phone for my daughter in May, and it got stolen a week later, comma, and for some reason I'm still getting charged for it, even though I've been trying to shut it down for three months. I've made multiple calls to you guys, and I've gone in the store twice, so hopefully you can help me. Let's see if I can do that. Okay, can I get her? You got phone number, please. 816-334-9068. There is no pin, and that's where the problem is. So the reason no one could shut it off is because it got stolen before I even had a chance to register a pin. So apparently I'm going to pay for it for the rest of my fucking life. I understand your frustration, sir. Here's the pin. Okay? Yeah. I cannot access your account. I know. It's pin. I know. What's that? If, they, if there is a way, there's a hallelujah way, okay? Okay. You can call your the credit card company, okay? And you tell them that uh, you need to cancel that payment, that you're not, they're not listening to you, that you're ready to talk to them, that you're ready to call them, that you're ready to try it and they keep charging you, and they will be able to cancel the payment. And then a month later, we have to go through that all over again? Yes. What? No bullshit. Yes. Don't give me yes on that. I need to talk to a supervisor or someone who can shut this fucking thing down. Because this has taken enough of my time. I've gone into the store twice. The last hallelujah that someone came up with in your job told me to go into the store and have them call customer service to verify that I was me. And I was the one who bought the phone at that fucking store. And then you could shut it down. That was two months ago. Then last month I went in again. They're like, there's nothing we can do, man. Yes, thank you. I understand your frustration. Thank you. Okay. Jesus fucking Christ. Let's be honest. You've been 
tempted to glance at your phone while driving. We've all had that urge to check a score, snap a selfie, reply to an email, like a post. While that notification may seem urgent, when you're driving, everything can wait. Please, don't drive distracted. Take the pledge at itcanwait.com. about your service or your device, get answers at att.com slash prepaid support. You'll find out about payment options, plan info, multi-line discounts, auto Don't hang up on me. No. Don't you dare hang up on me. Don't. You uh, there? Hello? Now there's nobody there and no hold music. The call continues, apparently. 11 minutes and 44 seconds into the phone call. Well, into the... this particular phone call. And they hung up! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh dear lord. 